Hello friends, we're back again today with another easy shiny hunting video where you can use one location to get up to 11 different Pokemon. We're going to cover all the details in today's video. But before we get into the video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. Yes, one location where you can get up to 11 different shiny Pokemon. It's super easy, no effort involved, and pretty much AFK other than setting up and taking down your picnic. And of course, I've got to give Sukuro Gaming a huge shout out for this location who discovered this, which allows me to share it with you to get easy shinies in your game. So when you're in your game, the area that we're going to want to head to is in North Province Area 2. You can see I've dropped a pin exactly where it is on the map. So we'll head over this way and I'll show you exactly where it is. So once you reach this area on your map, and I'll just bring it up for you right now so you'll be able to see exactly where we are. And I'll zoom in again and it's kind of in this little ravine area here. You are going to want to head and identify this tree and then head up onto this embankment up here because this is where you're gonna be able to kind of do all your hunting from. You're gonna be able to set your picnics up in this location here and just view all of the Pokemon spawning in down below. So just to show you again, we are located exactly right here. This is really zoomed in so you can see exactly where we are. We're gonna have one single tree in this kind of crescent area of the ravine. And this is the location that we're gonna to wanna to use. On top of the cliff here, you're going to be able to set up your picnic. But the first thing before we start anything, of course, is going to be saving our game. Like I said, there are 11 different Pokemon that you can get in this one specific area. And there is only one that is dependent on the night day cycle. So at night time, if you want to go after Murkrow, this is a great location for it. But any other time, if it's daytime, you're not going to be able to hunt Murkrow with a dark sandwich on. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so once you've dropped your save, the next thing that you want to do is just come up to this more flat area at the top here this is where you're going to be able to set your picnic up and it might take a little minute just for you to be able to get the picnic right but just shuffle around on the top here and you'll eventually get it and you can see there it is set up and that's all we want to do we want to just stay in this one spot now and we're going to just take the picnic table down when we have our sandwich set up and then reset it up and then back down again to spawn any of the pokemon in this area so the first pokemon we are going to look for in this area is noibat and noivern they are the dragon types and you can set up a sandwich and uh, there'll be a sandwich recipe list on the screen in the overlay and in the description if you want some alternative recipes but just for the examples of this video we're going to use the simple recipe just an avocado salty and a spicy herba mystica and that will give us the level three encounter power sparkling power and title power that we're looking for for this example and as you can see once we've got it set up you want to just take your picnic down and you're going to see normally three kind of families of the noibat spawning with about three noibat families around them so you're going to get a good selection of pokemon each time you set up your picnic and then take it down again meaning that the amount of pokemon that you can cycle through is going to be quite a lot in a very short period of time making this shiny hunt extremely easy for this dragon type and as you see after not too many resets of a picnic table we do eventually get ourselves a shiny Noibat, which is a really nice one to get and it's also worth noting as well if you are doing this location make sure that you try and get yourself a, a full swipe user that is a good Good high level the pokemon in this area are generally going to be around 50 so you're going to want a pokemon quite high 75 plus and a false swipe user will just get those down to one hp meaning that you're going to be able to have a better catch rate with these pokemon as you can see here we can use a fast ball on the noibat which is a really nice ball to get this in if we did want to breed it down we've got the option there and obviously just getting the shiny in that special apricorn ball is really nice this spot also allows you to go after the ground and fire type numa and camera up you can use a sandwich again they'll be linked in the description but again we're going to just use the ham and then a salty and a spicy herba mystica to get those sparkling powers the encounter power that we're going to need and again it's just the same process as what we've done with the noi but we're just taking a picnic down and setting it up again and you want to be looking out for the numal it's going to have a more blue back 
than the green back of the regular one. And then camera up is easy to spot with that black camera up rather than the orange one, but really nice shiny. And again, it didn't take us too long here to get a shiny camera up. It was a really nice shiny to get and one of my favorites actually from older generations. So really nice way to hunt this Pokemon. Super easy, like I say, there's not really much effort involved here. You're gonna get a good bunch of Pokemon every time you take down your picnic and then set it up again to reset the spawns before the shiny does appear and you've got 30 minutes as long as you save beforehand before setting the sandwich up you're going to be able to kind of come in and just set it up again until you do get the shiny that you want for this pokemon another shiny is going to be the psychic type spoink and grumpig if you want the shiny of these you're going to be able to find them in this location using a sandwich recipe to get that level three sparkling power for psychic and counterpart and the title power as well obviously using the ingredients that we're using is onions and then a salty and a spicy herba mystica and that will get you the the relevant powers that you need to get this psychic pokemon and again it's just the same process just taking down your picnic and resetting it again to reset the spawns in the area until the shiny spawns in and it is as easy as that you can also use the zoom function as well by double tapping your home button on the menu just to kind of get a closer look at the pokemon that are spawning in spunks are pretty small but they're quite obvious to see in their shiny form compared to their regular. Go go! the grass type is another Pokemon that you're going to be able to hunt. Also in this area, just set up the grass encounter and sparkling power using the same method as we used before. And you are just going to get hordes of go go in this area if you want the shiny of that one. It's going to be easier to spot. It's a more vibrant kind of lime green color rather than the dark green that it is. Again, for recipes on the grass encounter power and sparkling power will be linked in the description, but you can also use the easy method of just doing the lettuce ingredient and a salty and a spicy herba mystica and this will get you the relevant powers that you need for hunting gogot nakli is another pokemon the rock type and it's kind of evolutions into garganacle you're going to be able to find in this area as well just putting a sandwich part on for rock type pokemon you'll spawn only the nakli and its evolution in the family forms in this area so again you're going to be able to just reset and eat, get this shiny pokemon really easy in this one location if you set up a steel power sandwich so you're going to be setting up with a hamburger say and a salty and a spicy herba mystica for this one you're going to be able to get families of copper raja and q fans and also lucarios and riolus are going to sporadically spawn in this with that steel power active in this area so really good way to get both of these shinies which both have really nice shinies as well so another way if you have the sparkling power level three for steel with that encounter power they are the ones that you can can get also in this one area if you put on a dark power sandwich level three and encounter power level three you're going to get actually three different pokemon that spawn in this area so if it's at night time you're going to get the chance of murkrow and honchkrow appearing in this area and through the daytime and also through nighttime you're going to get houndoom houndor and the brand new pokemon lotix is another pokemon that you're going to get if you put the dark power sandwich on so again just use the same process that we've used before setting up your picnic putting a down make sure you save before you do this all and then kind of just reset through the spawns until the shiny that you're looking for spawns because there are a number of different pokemon that can spawn with a dark power sandwich you're it might take a little bit longer to get the desired pokemon that you want and you might end up getting all three in conjunction which would be a bonus because any time you put a, a sandwich on you get three shinies for it that is good bang for your buck another pokemon that only spawns here with a certain sandwich power is luxury and shinx so you're going to get the families of shinx with the luxury coming in in this area and you're going to just need to set up a sandwich with those electric encounter and sparkling powers you can use the yellow pepper ingredient here with salty and spicy or sweet herba mystica like i say there'll be ingredients in the description if you want to use these and then you're going to get spawns of the luxury with families of shinx around them really obvious shinies to notice if they do pop up not hard to recognize and they're a really nice shiny as well but that is just with the electric sparkling power in this one location this one actually took us a little bit longer to get the shinx did appear in the end a really nice shiny that golden color um but it 
did take a little while for us to get, but we do manage to get it and get it in a Premier Ball, which was a really nice catch for us in this hunt. If you set up a Fighting, Sparkling Power and Encounter Power, you're going to be able to encounter mainly Halucha in this area. Halucha got one of the nicest shinies out of all Pokemon, really easy to spot and you're going to get a bunch of them every time you reset your picnic and then put it down again. Uh, you're also going to have the chance of Lucario and those Riolus around the Lucario spawning in when you use this sandwich power for fighting type Pokemon but predominantly it is going to be Halucha but you can get the Lucario as well. And the final one to mention in today's video is going to be Lortix. If you didn't have much chance getting it with the Dark Power Sandwich then try setting up an Encounter Power and Sparkling Power for bug types. This is the only bug type that will spawn in this area and it is bug and dark so setting up the bug type sandwich will mean that you're only going to get the Lortix spawning in rather than obviously with the Houndoom and if it's at night time the Murkrow and the Honchkrow so it makes it a bit easier for getting this brand new Pokemon in its shiny form and it has got a really nice shiny and you wouldn't believe our luck we get the shiny Lortix after setting this picnic up on our first reset so we get really lucky here and then we have half an hour to go after some more bug type Pokemon or just try and get an additional shiny Lortix here but a really nice shiny to go after and that wraps up every single shiny that we've got so far in this area so this one area you can sit here on this side of the cliff and just set up your picnic take it down again and set different sandwiches up for a bunch of different really cool shiny Pokemon in one area and it's not going to take much effort at all and super happy with the Lortex catch as well because we do end up using our Moon Ball. We use our False Swipe user and we do manage to get that shiny Lortex as well. So in one area, I don't know where else in the game you've got the chances of getting so many different Pokemon in just one specific area. But this is definitely one of the best areas to come and hunt in your game. So I hope you found today's video really useful. Obviously all of the sandwich recipes, the variations of them will be linked down in the description like I've said. Just go to the area that we came to and you're going to be able to set up any one of these different sandwich recipes to spawn these different Pokemon that spawn in this one area making it super easy for you to get shinies and a lot of them with very little effort at all so thank you so much for tuning in friends like I say I hope you found this one useful have a great rest of your day if you found it useful please drop a like on the video do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content and I'll see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye